after a long awaited about what four years now I've had this car crazy I've had this car for almost four years I finally got new seats when I first got the car these seats were the ones that were sitting inside it and they're out of someone ended up telling me and I believe it is a like 2000 three Pontiac Sunbird or some something like that is what these seats are out of. These seats are ugly, they're crusty, everything's all nasty, and I've been using them for just forever just because they're seats and they were in the car. But finally, I decided to order some new seats and they came in the mail today. I was gonna make a whole video of me like talking about the seats and then installing them, but I was like, you know what, they came in today. Why not give you guys a daily update I got the seats and then tomorrow you'll see me installing them. So right now I'm just showing you guys the seats. They just came in on me, but look at me. We're on full on quarantine mode. It's what, 70 degrees outside, sunny. I'm wearing my dashiki. I don't even have any shoes on. It's beautiful outside today and I'm excited to install these seats, but I'll show you guys real quick the seat that I ordered. I got these things off eBay. Now these I am trying to replicate with these seats is the super stock seats that were in the 68 Dodge Darts and Plymouth Barracudas. They had those super nice super stock seats, but those things are like a grand if I wanted to buy all of them. And the A100 Vans had the exact same seats, but Mopar guys, everything's gold to them. So those things are like just as much money. I'm like, I'm not spending all that money on seats. $1,000 on seats. If I could spend $1,000 on a nitrous kit, so why would I spend that on seats? I got these things for 100 bucks a piece off eBay. They're meant to be for a Jeep, but they look practically identical to the super stock seats. The only difference is in like the basic format of the seat is the super stock seats the stitching i believe is either further apart for these like rectangles or it's closer together besides that it's literally the exact same seat i mean somebody said no it's not the same seat i really don't care to me it's close enough and i think they look sick and for a hundred bucks a piece you it you can't beat that it, literally it's impossible to and i said a while back i wanted to get a pair of red what i say a pair of red e-body seats because i like the e-body seats my dad has a cuda a 72 cuda and i said i just love those seats but i was thinking about it more and more i sat in a 68 super stock clone i like the seats and then i was thinking too look i have one of the seats sitting in there and from here that's why you can see the seat but then you can't see the other seat because it's too low that look right here when i'm driving around during the summer i got the car parked somewhere we got all the windows rolled down and you just see the shot all across because there's no b pillar right here the b pillar is all the way back here you don't see the seats it's it's just gonna look beautiful it's gonna look amazing but still we got some work to do inside the rest of the car but here i'm just showing you the seats which we finally got in the mail now these seats, like I showed, I just got the seats. I did not get brackets for them because the brackets that are actually on the seats that are in the car right now bolt up perfectly to holes. The only thing is the passenger side one, I only had four holes. I don't want to drill a hole, but you know what? I might end up drilling a hole. But the thing is, they lined up perfectly fine to holes that were already there. So I'm like, why not reuse these? So what you're going to be seeing in the video tomorrow is going to be me pulling these brackets off and installing them on the seats, which we just bought. We got the ones just sitting right there. It's not actually on a bracket. It's just sitting there on the floor. And I'm already in love with how it looks. And you can see here, we got two options for bolt holes in each corner. And if that doesn't work, shoot, I'll just drill holes into these seats. I'd rather drill holes in the seats than in the floors of the car. Because to be honest, besides right there, everything back is perfect when it comes to the floor There's no rust holes or anything but i should be able to find some way to get these to bolt up on to the seats or actually now that i think of it i might not have to drill holes into the actual seat i could just drill holes into here to where it lines up and then bolt it all together because it's just like this piece of metal here similar to how i did the fuel cell in the back just drill the holes wherever i want on the actual piece of metal to fit the holes that are already there. So I might end up doing that. You know, thinking of stuff on the spot here. And it came with these nice instructions here to how to install this stuff or how to bolt a seat bracket to it. If you guys wanna check these stuff out, go check it out on eBay. I mean, I'm happy with how it is. It got here, shoot, I ordered these things, I think. I think I ordered them on Sunday maybe, and it's Wednesday and they're already here during the time of the corona. And they came out, I mean, I'm, I couldn't be happy with them. But like I said, $100 a piece, you really can't beat that. For a seat like this, black seat, but I mean, shoot. These things were, I took a picture for the thumbnail. I had them sitting out here in the sun. 
and when I grabbed them after sitting in the sun, it was burn your nuts off hot. When I sit down on these things during the summer, it is going to be hot. I might have to put like a white towel or rag down on here because it is going to be blazing once it gets during the summer and this thing sitting out here in the sun. But hey, it'll be worth it because it just looks so cool. But like I said, this video was just a quick bit of me simply showing you guys the seats that I got. And tomorrow we will be installing them. I'm going to do some other stuff too. We got a vacuum out the inside of the car. Clean up the back of here. Like I said, we're doing a whole makeover on the inside of Betsy right now. I was thinking about how much I record videos in here. How much stuff we do with the car. And look how ugly it is in here. So we're making it look all nice. Starting with these seats right here. You know what? I'll try and sit in it real quick. I have no idea how this is going to go. I could fall backwards. Oh my gosh. You know, like the, the height, the ride height without even a bracket is perfect. This is exactly how it was. Look, 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 look at this. Perfect arm level. Sorry, my hair, I, my barber's closed. So my hair is a disaster. And I look, I literally look, I, 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 it's coronation guys. I'm sorry, but look at this. I don't even like, I, I think at my room, I don't even think I need the brackets to be honest, just get some way to bolt it, but there has to be some way. But because literally, look at this. Look at that arm level right there. It is absolutely perfect. Armrest level is perfect. Cause, oh, guys, I'm genuinely blown away right now. Just sit in this seat. Look, this is perfect right here. But again, that's all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. There's this seat right there, and there's the crack in the windshield as well. Maybe one day we'll get that fixed. But. This was just me showing you guys the new seats that I got in the mail today. And tomorrow, we will be installing them into Betsy here. I'm in love right now with the level of the seat. Like, it's literally perfect just sitting here right now. It's like this was meant to be. Hope you guys are looking forward to the video tomorrow of me installing these. That video will be going up at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure you just click that little bell. Turn notifications on so you don't miss a single video that I upload. Again, all my videos go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thoughts and opinions in the comment section about these seats. Any recommendations for me installing them because you guys are probably going to see this and they might not be fully installed yet. So I might still be Waiting to hear what you guys have to say when I'm installing this because you guys always give me good advice. So leave some comments in the comment section down below. Any advice you give me to installing these seats. And again, like any advice for doing with the ride height because this is perfect, right? Like, look, look, that's absolutely perfect. Any advice, thoughts, and opinions on what happened in this video, the seats we got in the comment section down below. I read absolutely all the comments reply to just about all of them. And make sure you guys check out the Betsy merch. Shirts and hoodies are available at snoopycxyz.weebly.com. I'm, I'm wearing my dashiki today. I'm not wearing my Betsy merch in this video, but I will be tomorrow. I'll put it on for the video. You can get your stuff at snoopycxyz.weebly.com or first link down below in the description. I also set up a PO box, so if you guys want to send me stuff, address is down below in the description. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at SamABCXYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is SamABCXYZ signing out.